Hello my beautiful people, it is me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. So why are we here today? We are here today to talk about the numerology of 2019. Uh, as many of you have seen, I've put out the numerology series for the life path numbers. If you haven't seen it and you know your life path number, uh, head over to it and take a look. If you don't know your uh, if you don't know your life path number there is a video that will help you calculate it and there's also another video called the power of numerology that will explain a little bit about the numbers and their vibrations so with that said I don't know if any of you have seen it but if you have um, great if not then I did a video at the start of this year called uh, it, it was about 2018 being um, uh, an 11 year which is a master vibration as many of you know by now and I talked about some of the things that we would probably experience under the banner of this year and I'm kind of proud to say <sighs> that uh, some of my predictions actually came to pass. And you know, that's really wonderful because it shows that the power of numerology is not only accurate, but also it is something that we can all utilize to make the best of our lives, um, which is absolutely wonderful. So 2018, as many of you have seen, has been quite an intense year. It's been a great year. It's been an amazing year for a lot of people in the way of spiritual development, personal development, um, you know, really delving into their own practices. Uh, you know, we saw a lot of hidden things come to light on the wider world stage. We really got a sense of um, what I called at the beginning of the year, the occult becoming, you know, becoming common knowledge, whether that is uh, mystery traditions starting to finally share some of their secrets, whether it is, you know, a lot of the things like we had the Weinstein uh, scandal and the Me Too movement and all of that stuff. And yes, Jupiter and Sagittarius will have played a big part in that, absolutely. Absolutely, but we are in a master vibration year right up until uh, the first well until yeah um, right up until the 31st of December so when the year changes the vibration will change because we'll be moving into a new year so you know <clears throat> Although it's been a really good year for a lot of personal development and a lot of development in a lot of ways, you know, like I said, with so many things coming to light, we're better informed and better to be better informed is for, forewarned is to be forearmed, right? So we've seen that and it's been, you know, really, really great for us, but it has been a bit of an intense year. Maybe not 2016 intense, but it's been intense nonetheless. Um, so, you know, now that that vibration is about to change, let's talk about that. We're coming into a numerological year three, which is fantastic. It's fantastic for all of us. Whatever your life path number, whatever your star sign, whatever your rising sign, moon sign, whatever, it really doesn't matter. It's the numerology that we're looking at here. And in some way, shape or form, this is gonna affect or imbue all of our lives with its power, with its power, with its energy. And the number three is light-hearted and it's fun and it's warm and it's vibrant and it wants to connect. And when I say it wants to connect, this isn't about, you know, jamming things together and throwing things together. It's actually about finding meaningful communication. It's about finding um, ways to express ourselves, but in the highest expression of who we are, of what we want to be, and ultimately how a amazing we see the world and all of the people in it so I've written some stuff down here and I'm going to talk about them in sort of in sequence so fun more fun the number three loves fun it has a very almost childlike wonder to it where everything is about enjoyment where everything is supposed to be light-hearted and warm and open and you know to inject fun back into our lives for everybody I think especially with some of the stuff that's happened you know it, with, with all of the stuff that took place in 2018 there's been sort of like this undercurrent of intensity and I think when we move into the three year uh, you know for 2019 that's actually going to fade it's going to start well not fade it won't completely disappear it, it you know especially with the times that we're in but it will certainly lighten it will certainly lessen and I love that because it means that we will be 
we'll all be more looking we'll all be looking for more enjoyment in and of our lives communication the number three is social it is open it is uh, talkative and um, you know it's communicative it's expressive you know all of these things that uh, you know that make human existence wonderful a big part of communication ultimately is about connection right it's about how we talk to each other it's about what we learn from each other what we take on and communication is going to be amplified underneath this number underneath this vibration the internet will will expand even more I personally believe you know we'll find new ways of connecting with each other besides social media um, you know I, I really feel that there might be things that pop up that sort of end up being like online communities so not necessarily things like um, Facebook and stuff where it's it's a platform for you to present yourself I really believe like you're gonna get tribes almost popping up online where you know they they become like a support network so maybe not necessarily in person but uh, certainly you know across the wider world stage and in person a lot of this will be happening a lot of us will feel this draw and this pull to find a tribe to find a group of people that resonate with us that we can communicate with about who we are that you know about who they are and what our um, it, one of the things that I love about this number as well is it's going to see us reaching for what our similarities are as opposed to what, what our differences are. Uh, travel, the number three, you know, in general, loves to travel, loves to see different things, different places, loves to get different ideas and perspectives. And one of the best ways to do that is to travel. I think, you know, travel, global travel is going to expand this year. I really feel that... Um, everybody in some way shape or form is going to seek to be in places or move to places or go to places or visit places that put them out of their comfort zone and you know not to be thrown out of it or anything like that we're going to be seeking to step outside of our comfort zone so that we can gain more knowledge gain more wisdom not just about the world but also about ourselves and what better way to do that than to travel uh, enjoyment you know as I said it's light-hearted it's fun it's free it's vibrant uh, happiness I think we're all going to be feeling a lot more of this especially in the first half of the year I think you know certainly January through April I think we're going to have some really really wonderful stuff shape up and I really feel like the voice of the people will be honoured a lot more this year um, you know in 2019 I really feel like the masses are going to be heard more and I don't feel like it's going to be about uh, you know the, the PTB placating us I think it's going to be more about them working in collaboration with us and saying okay well look the people want this and they're unhappy because of this what can we do to bridge that gap um, and I absolutely love that sharing, uh, more sharing, more caring, more openness, this whole thing about, um, you know, borders and, uh, you know, pe you know, immigrants and stuff. I really feel like a lot of that is going to lessen. And I really feel that the reason it's going to lessen is because more people are going to be willing and ready to open up a dialogue about what it means in some way, shape or form. We are all nomads, whether that's spiritual nomads, physical nomads. Uh, you know, traveling nomads in some way, shape or form. We all borrow from different cultures and different ideas, right? Especially nowadays, it's so hard to get, you know, the pure essence of anything. I mean, we see eclecticism across the board and I think the three energy is gonna bring about a lot more of that, but in the really positive way. Um, I've written travel twice here. <laughs> not sure, I was obviously not paying attention. Or I obviously, some part of me thought it was worth mentioning, um, you know, short trips certainly weekend breaks uh, you know going to visit things Airbnb is going to do really really well in 2019 so if you want to invest in anything invest in things that are to do with travel invest in things that are to do with community uh, that are to, to do with communication all of that stuff is going to be a, a worthwhile and worthy investment beauty so the number three loves all things beautiful and you know ultimately 
beauty is in the, the eye of the beholder, right? And I was just musing on this last night, actually, that um, I can't remember what I was watching, but there was this thing and I was like, wow, you know, not that I didn't know it before, but it was nice to see it in practice how uh, for whoever you are, there is an attraction for everybody. Everybody is attracted to something different and that is what makes the world such a wonderful place. That is what makes human life and human existence such a beautiful life-affirming expression of universal energy, right? And you know, beauty is, is whatever is beautiful. Nature is beautiful. Uh, you know, we're all gonna be uh, looking at ways that we can enhance the, our personal environments, ways that we can enhance ourselves. A lot of people will go through image shifts in the tw in 2019. A lot of people will, you know, health and fitness and stuff is gonna go through another boost next year. I really believe that. Um, and it's gonna be in relation to the aesthetic, really, just to, to put it out there. Hairdressers, nail technicians, plastic surgeons, um, you know, uh, makeup artists, uh, artists in general, landscapers, people that work with, uh, you know, making the land more beautiful or uh, more aesthetically pleasing. Anybody that works in any of those fields is going to experience a real uptake. And it's funny I mentioned the, the fitness and industry because I know it's going through a massive shakeup at the moment. And, you know, in large part, a lot of people are debunking myths and, you know, the, a lot of these sort of fitness gurus that are are using fake weights and you know various different you know hormones and injections and steroids and blah 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 and, you know and in the 2018 a lot of that has come out right and it's the same with the the you know the beauty industry i think in um the numerological year three in stark contrast to that, so the 2018, the 11 year, has thrown out all of the, the dishonest and the, the uh, you know, the surreptitious, and it's paved the way for true beauty to come through. Um, and I really, really like that idea. Uh, so, you know, we're all gonna be looking to, to demonstrate more self-care in relation to beauty. So understanding that actually I'm a beautiful being as well as a beautiful body. And how can I get my outside self to reflect the true beauty that is within? Um, I really feel like a lot, of, a lot of people are gonna come out of their shells this year, which I absolutely love. Self-care is gonna be prevalent across the board. You know, that is something that a lot of people, if not all people in some way, shape or form, will be devoting a lot of their time to. Um, you know, I, I once explained to two of my friends when, uh, when we were younger and they had their first child, and I said to them, before you were parents, you were, you know, you were partners, you were boyfriend and girlfriend, and before you were boyfriend and girlfriend, you were people, right? And if you are happy people, you'll be happy and better parents. And ultimately, uh, when you when you go through the process of self-care, if you really look after yourself, you're better for the world. You have to be, right? Because you're happier in and of yourself. Uh, expression, self-expression, self-communication, uh, you know, the way that you speak, what is your personal message? Uh, what is your mission statement in life? A lot of people are gonna be really demonstrating that they finally understand who they are, where they're going. And a lot of this will happen under the number three because it's so lighthearted hearted it's about finding the answers and seeking the answers through fun through vibrancy through life affirming beauty uh, and the understanding of what that actually is um art and creativity are amazing avenues even if you're not a painter you don't have to be a picasso or a dali or a, a, a da vinci or any of that it's just about being creative it's just about getting those juices flowing and for some people creativity is finding a way to teach a class for some people it is art for others it's music dancing writing all of these things are going to be really prevalent really i really feel like the fashion industry especially will be looking towards things like dance things like um you'll see a lot of you know the 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 dance wear becoming fashion wear and stuff like that this is the sort of stuff that we could see happen under a numerological three year um you know, and like I said, creativity, for some people it is dance, for some people it is art, for some people it's music, it's, it's writing, for some people it is singing. 
Um, if you are in any of those fields or you've ever had any interest in those fields, this is the year to follow those passions because they will excite you, they will wake you up, they will put you in contact with groups and people that you just probably wouldn't have even come across if you hadn't got out uh, of your personal bubble and done something different. That's the other thing with the number three. You know, it wants to connect with all types of different people from different places to see what can I learn? What can I learn about myself? What can I learn about the world? Through the guise and the understanding that uh, forging meaningful connections and having meaningful communication uh, will lead me to my best self, will lead me to the brightest understanding of who I am. If you have a book in you, 2019 is a great year to get started on it. If you are movement obsessed, if you love dance, Tai Chi, uh, yoga, all of that stuff, Pilates, um, dance exercise, aerobics, whatever it is, uh, this is a great year for all of that. Um, you know, in the dancing part, it's about finding the fun in the self-care, right? Dancing is a great workout. Um, you know, I, I used to dance a lot, believe it or not. I know you probably wouldn't think so from this. So I'm really looking forward to tapping back into that energy. I think I'm gonna seek out some street and hip hop dance classes because under this, why bloody not? And I was born on the third, so <laughs> hey, got a double hit of that energy, you know, so I will be using it. And then finally, living well. I mean, for all of us, like I said, 2018 has been quite an intense year. And I feel like 2019 will be so much of a lighter energy that living well, living authentically, being who you are, um, you know, having fun, uh, getting in touch with that creative aspect of yourself, you know, even for the, the most, um, and I say this with love, even for the most mundane or sort of uh, linear people, they will be finding creative approaches to their problems and finding creative solutions and answers for the things that they uh, they are finding challenging. And that doesn't have to be through music or dance or you know expressive dance or art or whatever. It, it could literally just be being creative with the um, you know with the resources that they have in their chosen field. So. Uh, living well, you know, in all ways, shapes or forms, speaking well, eating well, uh, you know, everything that, that we do in the year 2019 will be about extracting every last ounce, every last exquisite, exquisite ounce of freedom, beauty, truth, love. You know, I just quoted the Moulin Rouge there, like the Bohemian lifestyle, that is the number three. Freedom, beauty, truth, love, all of those things and expressing it. I really feel that 2019 is gonna be a great, fun, vibrant, powerful year for all of us, um, you know, and it will be interesting to see how it shapes out and if any of the stuff that I have, um, you know, kind of thought about and played about with in concept and using my own sacred imagination as well. That's another one worth mentioning. I really feel like a lot of people are gonna tap into that this year um, because three is about the imagination as well. You know, it has so many broad applications and uses besides what I've put here. You know, this is really just scratching the surface, but we are nearing quite a, a long video of me waffling on. So I really hope that you enjoy this. I wish you an amazing 2019. Uh, let me know, come back to this video and see if it works, if it tallies up, if it speaks to you. Um, you know, if, if you notice any of these trends in your own life or in your uh, wider circle, um, I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. Take care my beautiful people and I will see you very soon for more videos.